أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صاد By the Quran full of admonition this is the truth But the unbelievers are steeped in self-glory and separatism How many generations before them did we destroy In the end they cried for mercy when there was no longer time for being saved So they wonder that a warner has come to them from among themselves and the unbelievers say this is a sorcerer telling lies Has he made the gods all into one god truly this is a wonderful thing and the leaders among them go away impatiently saying walk you away and remain constant to your gods for this is truly a thing designed against you We never heard the like of this among the people of these latter days this is nothing but a made up tale what has the message been sent to him of all persons among us but they are in doubt concerning my own message nay they have not yet tasted my punishment or have they the treasures of the mercy of your lord they exalted in power the grant of bounties without measure or have they the dominion of the heavens and the earth and all between if so let them mount up with the ropes and means to reach that end but there will be put to flight even a host of confederates before them were many who rejected messengers the people of noah and ad and pharaoh the lord of stakes and thamud and the people of lut and the companions of the wood such were the confederates not one of them but rejected the messengers but my punishment came justly and inevitably on them these today only wait for a single mighty blast which when it comes will brook no delay they say our lord hasten to us our sentence even before the day of account have patience at what they say and remember our servant david the man of strength for he ever turned to allah it was we that made the hills declare in unison with him our praises at eventide and at break of day and the birds gathered in assemblies all with him did turn to allah we strengthened his kingdom and gave him wisdom and sound judgment in speech and decision has the story of the disputants reached you Behold they climbed over the wall of the private chamber when they entered the presence of David and he was terrified of them they said fear not we are two disputants one of whom has wronged the other decide now between us with truth and treat us not with injustice but guide us to the even path this man is my brother he has 9 and 90 ewes and i have but one yet he says commit her to my care and is moreover harsh to me in speech david said he has undoubtedly wronged you in demanding your single ewe to be added to his flock of ewes truly many are the partners in business who wrong each other not so do those who believe and work deeds of righteousness and how few are they and david gathered that we had tried him he asked forgiveness of his lord fell down bowing in prostration and turned to Allah in repentance so we forgave him this lapse he enjoyed indeed a near approach to us and a beautiful place of final return o oh, david we did indeed make you a vicegerent on earth so judge you between men in truth and justice nor follow you the lusts of your heart for they will mislead you from the path of Allah for those who wander astray from the path of Allah is a penalty grievous for that they forget the day of account not without purpose did we create heaven and earth and all between that were the thought of unbelievers but woe to the unbelievers because of the fire of hell shall we treat those who believe and work deeds of righteousness the same as those who do mischief on earth shall we treat those who guard against evil the same as those who turn aside from the right Here is a book which we have sent down unto you full of blessings that they may meditate on its signs 
and that men of understanding may receive admonition. To David we gave Solomon for a son. How excellent in our service! Ever did he turn to us. Behold, there were brought before him at eventide courses of the highest breeding and swift of foot. And he said, Truly do I love the love of good with a view to the glory of my Lord until the sun was hidden in the veil of night. Bring them back to me. Then began he to pass his hand over their legs and their necks. And we did try Solomon. We placed on his throne a body without life. But he did turn to us in true devotion. He said, O oh my Lord, forgive me, and grant me a kingdom which, maybe, suits not another after me, for you are the granter of bounties without measure. Then we subjected the wind to his power, to flow gently to his order, whithersoever he willed. As also the evil ones, including every kind of builder and diver, as also others bound together in fetters. Such are our bounties, whether you bestow them on others or withhold them, no account will be asked. And he enjoyed indeed a near approach to us, and a beautiful place of final return. Commemorate our servant Job. Behold, he cried to his Lord, The evil one has afflicted me with distress and suffering. The command was given, Strike with your foot. Here is water wherein to wash, cool and refreshing, and water to drink. And we gave him back his people, and doubled their number, as a grace from ourselves, and a thing for commemoration, for all who have understanding. And take in your hand a little grass, and strike therewith, and break not your oath. Truly we found him full of patience and constancy. How excellent in our service! Ever did he turn to us. And commemorate our servants, Abram, Isaac, and Jacob, possessors of power and vision. Verily, we did choose them for a special purpose, proclaiming the message of the hereafter. They were, in our sight, truly, of the company of the elect and the good. And commemorate Ismail, Elisha, and Dhul Kithil. Each of them was of the company of the good. This is a message of admonition, and verily for the righteous is a beautiful place of final return. Gardens of eternity, whose doors will ever be open to them. Therein will they recline at ease. Therein can they call at pleasure for fruit in abundance and delicious drink. And beside them will be chaste women restraining their glances, companions of equal age. Such is the promise made to you for the day of account. Truly, such will be our bounty to you. It will never fail. Yea, such, but for the wrongdoers, will be an evil place of final return. Hell, they will burn therein, an evil bed indeed to lie on. Yea, such, then shall they taste it a boiling fluid, and a fluid dark, murky, intensely cold, and other penalties of a similar kind to match them. Here is a troop rushing headlong with you, no welcome for them, truly they shall burn in the fire. The followers shall cry to the misleaders, Nay, you too, no welcome for you. It is you who have brought this upon us. Now evil is this place to stay in. They will say, Our Lord, whoever brought this upon us, add to him a double penalty in the fire. And they will say, What has happened to us that we see not men whom we used to number among the bad ones? Did we treat them as such in ridicule, or have our eyes failed to perceive them? Truly, that is just and fitting, the mutual recriminations of the people of the fire. Say, truly am I a warner. No God is there but the one Allah, supreme and irresistible. The Lord of the heavens and the earth and all between, exalted in might, able to enforce his will, forgiving again and again. Say, 
That is a message supreme above all, from which you do turn away. No knowledge have I of the chiefs on high, when they discuss matters among themselves. Only this has been revealed to me, that I am to give warning plainly and publicly. Behold, your Lord said to the angels, I am about to create man from clay. When I have fashioned him in due proportion, and breathed into him of my spirit, fall you down in obeisance unto him. So the angels prostrated themselves, all of them together. Not so Iblis, he was haughty, and became one of those who reject faith. Allah said, O Iblis, what prevents you from prostrating yourself to one whom I have created with my hands? Are you haughty? Or are you one of the high and mighty ones? Iblis said, I am better than he. You created me from fire, and him you created from clay. Allah said, Then get you out from here, for you are rejected, accursed. And my curse shall be on you till the day of judgment. Iblis said, O oh my Lord, Give me then respite till the day the dead are raised. Allah said, Respite then is granted you. Till the day of the time appointed. Iblis said, Then by your power I will put them all in the wrong. Accept your servants amongst them, sincere and purified by your grace. Allah said, then it is just and fitting, and I say what is just and fitting, that I will certainly fill hell with you and those who follow you, everyone. Say, no reward do I ask of you for this Quran, nor am I a pretender. This is no less than a message to all the worlds, and you shall certainly know the truth of it all after a while.